Girl, I'm going to have somebody send it from the chopper. There's a chopper out back. She don't have to go get the food, bro. They sure it is, but that goddamn Maddie, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a <laughs> chopper in the back crack. But no, <laughs> Maddie, it's, it's bigger. Your voice is, is bigger than all this. It's even bigger than our gripe. Right. It's, it's bigger. It's call bigger call than... Hold on. Girl, I feel like I'm on Phil Donahue, bitch. Just press it. Caller, are you there? Caller. Hello? Hello? I all think right. we lost the caller. We lost the call. Sister, there was a trans man that chimed in on that that I was like, damn, he fine. And that motherfucker said, shit, I talk and I get talked. I was like, hey, 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 hey. Shout out to my brother, Clever. Clever said that. Man, yes, that you can talk about hey, 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 nah, okay. shit. Clever said, Clever said, yeah, you can talk, but I'm tapping the fuck back. Shout out to my, shout out to the bro, Clever. And shout out to all the trans bros who put their face and put their voice out there as transgender men because you're absolutely right, Maddie. It is much more common for trans men to live stealth than it is for trans women. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like white black folks did who could pass in the 20s and 30s and the 40s and 50s. You know, fair skinned black people could pass as white. And honey, testosterone is a powerful drug, and trans men tend to be able to pass very well as cisgender. I remember when I used to. You, passes you, what? You still pass. As, you, no, no. You pass as American. <laughs> <laughs> you pass as American. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to add something to the thing. <laughs> well, you ain't got to look like that, Greg. He used to pass as <laughs> white. I know his indigenous looking ass is not talking to me. Because I know he's six, seven shades darker than me. <laughs> You said six or seven, and and I can't even pass as white. Frank, did you say six or seven? At least six or seven shades darker than me. And he was saying, I don't know, I don't know but I, I need a Miss Mary plate the next time you come to Baltimore, honey. I can meet you. I can meet you anywhere. I can meet you at Mount Diamond. Where you want to meet at Mount Diamond Security? I'm actually coming to Baltimore soon. I would love to meet you. Yeah. Can we put this in the shit now? <laughs> Yeah, I want you to put this in that moment. This ain't no disrespect to you. Really? It's now not. I feel like it's disrespect to It me, might right? be, but it's not. So take it that way. I'd like for you to know. And Mo, don't you don't you stop your laughing. Don't you stop hyping up Maddie when she's getting on the road because the point a point I want to make before I get out of here is mm -hmm. that whether th this is a satirical show. Y'all y'all say it all the time, and satire is necessary. People like me, for example. It's, it's always going to be people offended, regardless of what you say. They hated Jesus. They find excuses to hate Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. Satirical commentary is is necessary. Poking fun at things are necessary. South Park has been around for so long for for reasons. The Simpsons is The Simpsons is one of the longest running TV shows in all time, if not the longest running TV show in all time, for a reason. And it's because you have a lot of people like me. A lot of people who have been through a lot of bullshit. A lot of people who have been extremely traumatized. A lot of people who have the excuse to be fucking offended. But we communicate and we live and we cope through humor. I'm the type. I'm the type of person who can laugh at a funeral. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. But what I'm saying is, this is how I cope with my pain. This but is I want to. I want to see problem. us move as a community away from thinking. Now, what about that we this? Can't, can, that is we this can't, offensive? Oh, bitch! You have I hate to tell you, boy, that you have AIDS. You got the AIDS. You may have put it when you stuck that filthy needle in here, or maybe all that unprotected sex put you here. It isn't clear, but what we're searching of is you have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. Not HIV, but full blown AIDS. <laughs> Be sure that you see that this is not HIV. But full yes, blown, 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 but really full-blown. I'm sorry, I wish it was something less serious. <laughs> the AIDS. <laughs> So just for clarity, that's where we get the AIDS from. From Family Guy. We got that from, from there. And they still going. The AIDS. But when we oh, say they still going and going strong. Yeah. <laughs> but what I was saying was, I want us to move as a community away from thinking that we can't make jokes. Or where, even if it's straight people who can't make jokes about queer people. 
or we as queer people can't make jokes about other queer people, whether it's trans. Well, or I wasn't, gay. Make, but Craig, I want to no, make no, this I clear. I wasn't making a joke about the right. trans. I was sharing my experience and I was talking about how parallel it is with I, with August Alcina's identity. Like right. this was, this probably could be his first time with the man and he fell in love with the man and was like, hey, well, maybe, and he's still saying that he's straight. And so I was yeah. saying, I said, well, this happened to me. I, I, I started fucking with somebody. I, I got into it with them. They were a trans man. I was like, all right, well, I'm I'm in it. So let's see what let's see how we're gonna work. When it got down to sexual conversation, he told me that I, and I, I hate that I gotta keep repeating this shit. Mm -hmm. Right. I hate that I have to keep repeating this and 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 was labeled transphobic because I said I didn't want no motherfucking scrap. And if people that watch my show know that I talk about even little dick niggas. <laughs> Why the little dick niggas ain't never offended? The a little dick nigga. Well, they may be, but they're not gonna speak up because then you'll know they have a little dick. <laughs> a I little, little dick, I like I little dick men too. A little dick nigga brought this with him to my home. Yeah, they done brought him to my house before too, honey. I'm like, bitch, if whatever you can't slay me with, honey, it, it ain't it ain't getting slayed. I don't mean no harm. Now, now that's now that's why I draw the line, honey. I'm here for the prosthetics, honey. I love but a Theodorus, as Miss Mary said. I love it, love it, love it. I, I, I it. do, I do. But but like I was saying in in the rant, for me, it's about genital to, to genital contact. I don't give a fuck if you have a vagina. I don't care if you have a penis. I don't care if you have ambiguous genitalia and it's somewhere in between it if i love you we're gonna have to figure it out we're gonna have to make it work honey i didn't done i didn't done the the little pinky penises honey the ones that you sit on and it don't even go in the hole honey i'm, I'm. Go ahead, Craig. what's ambiguous genitalia Ooh. that's what she just said Ooh. Oh, and see, the reason we can't have these, these, the reason we can't get to that conversation is because we keep getting distracted with the bullshit. People are born with ambiguous genitalia. You can be born literally with the parts and anatomy of both genders or sexes as we know it. Yes, you, you absolutely intersect. That, I, didn't that that called, I didn't know that was also called ambiguous genitalia. Oh, so you mean women have well, you know, well, you know the, the definition of the word ambiguous oh, and ambiguous. Oh, you have a vagina and a penis. Oh, oh okay. I could show you more. I show you later. Or, or a little bit of both. It, it is more common than we even realize because they don't like to talk about it and they still doing surgeries on babies to try and make them appear cisgender when they are born intersex. Right. Yeah, but yes, you that there's literally a ruler that that they use in in the medical in the medical field. There's a ruler that they use to measure when a child has ambiguous genitalia when when it looks as if there's a penis and a hole, when when it looks as if there's a penis and a vagina. They measure the area, the penile area, and if it's above, if it's over a certain length, then they sew up the hole. They measure the penile area, and if it's below a certain length. Then they give the child estrogen to stop it from growing. Oh, look! See how we learn. Yeah. Well, that's, well, hermaphrodite that, is the former that, that's term. That's a dated term. Yeah. It's intersex. Yes, yeah, intersex. Yeah, it's it's a dated term. Oh, okay. I want the people to know that I know about terms to that, especially to that bull dagger that looked like a boy, mm -hmm. the, the, that dyke bitch that looked like a boy who called me unattractive old late tie, that bull dagger nigga bitch with that nappy pussy that's letting those fags get on top of him and busting him bitch, faggot ass, bull dyke ass bitch nigga who said all that fuck shit about me, bitch, I have a real dick, sir, ma'am, thanks. So, bitch, if I'm offending you now, bitch, I'm offending you. I'm talking to you, nigga. And cut this, cut this up, fair boots, and tag that nigga. And tell that nigga if that if that bitch hoe ass female have any pressure with me, bitch, we can get into a rematch all motherfucking day. All day. But my dick bigger than any dick that you got, bitch, in your arsenal. Oh. And it's real. Baby, girl. Huh? boy, girl. <laughs> Why, my baby. I just, I just want to make the point and reiterate that um, vagina is a beautiful thing, honey. Yeah, so don't <laughs> it. Yes, yes, it. it is. Yes, it is. And clearly, you've been 
And clearly you've been told that, that somebody didn't, didn't want your real dick, which again, this we shouldn't be having this conversation as trans people, straight people talk about us, cis hat people talk about us like this enough. Why? And, and that's the real irk to me, sister. I hate that, and, and we all, like I was telling you when we when we spoke privately before, I was telling you that transphobia is something that lives in all of us. It's, it's yeah. something that lives it's something that lives in transgender people. We are inherently transphobic, just like we are inherently racist and inherently misogynistic, and inherently and my ha- and pro- and inherently patriarchal. Because this is the society, the, the society that we grow up in. You know what I mean? This is it. It teaches us. It it conditions us Please. to think these to think this way and to feel this way, and we. We don't need to be perpetuating it amongst each other, especially in private. Now, I, I think, honestly, I think there is more credibility to us having this conversation publicly than somebody ever saying this to, to you in private. Let's have these conversations publicly so that we can teach each other how to treat each other. Yes. But the problem is, once we start having these conversations publicly, there's always somebody in the corners. Well, that's what that way. Well, that's what, be but, but that's also. That also no. that, that cisgender woman jumped in this and still and then tried to make me out to be misogynistic because I didn't want this man fucking me with his strap. I didn't want that. So how did and how did this not liking women? How did and that's transphobic as fuck? That's transphobic as fuck. You you and you in telling this story, just in telling this story, in the existence of the story, in the reality of the story, you dated this man and caught feelings for this man because you saw him as a man. I regardless still see him of him as a man. I exactly. see him as a man. And regardless of his transness. This bitch then came along and then put that man in the category with women. That in itself is transphobic. You are not defending transgender men. You are defending your motherfucking self and using trans men as a pawn to be transphobic to trans men and trans fucking women All right. at the same time. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm, tired, oh, I'm tired of having to respect them for for they for what they pronoun. Yeah, they was born men, they was born women. And there's no, uh, but but bitch, this ain't had nothing to do with you. Nothing, nothing, nothing to do with you. Your pussy. Um, your asshole, your uterus, nothing. Because ain't nobody say nothing about checking for no cisgender women, no cisgender people doing that damn conversation. None. This was between two trainees. <laughs> what, did, what did Miss Mary make y'all? What, what, what y'all got over there? What did Miss Mary make y'all? Okay, we got a variety plate. Mm-hmm. We got oh. fish, fried fish, fried rice, string beans. Mm-hmm. Um, chicken, uh, chicken, chicken sauce, and she made a squash, a squash uh, dressing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She be showing off over there. That's why she don't want you to get nobody I mean, over there in the house, honey. All right, That's so funny. listen. I want to tell my trans men out there that uh, that were uh, that were offended. I was not making a mockery mm-hmm. of you. I was not making a mockery of your genitalia. I heard you. I heard you speak. Now, to those that disrespected me, I'm disrespecting your bitch ass. <laughs> Straight up. Anybody that disrespect me, bitch, you get a motherfucking lashes on your ass. But I was not, I didn't, I, I, I did not mean to offend any of my trans men who um took offense to it because that was just it was just me telling my story. But I really wish that you would have listened to the story in depth so that you could have held your trans man. Uh, 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 accountable for not disclosing to me that they were trans men and also center the conversation around how they explained to me that they didn't want to see my how they first told me that my that they didn't want to see my peen that they didn't even want me talking about my peen and how for two months I was in a, I was in a situation with them where where they didn't say anything to me about it I'm thinking they I'm thinking that they a whole piece of trade out here. So let's until so address that. Address my feelings. Address how I was into this motherfucking shit and then got down and was willing to make things, but willing to make compromises, but was told from the jump, from the door, before I even knew that they were a trans man. 
that they didn't want, they don't like no dick, they don't want to see no dick. They ain't never been with no trans woman before. So I'd like for them to to go back and center center me. Oh, so you mean he knew that you were trans from the beginning, but you didn't know that he was trans from the beginning? Yes. First of all, let's talk about motherfucking disclosure. Because when trans women do that, when we do that, we're accused of tricking people and fooling people. And there's already this narrative. Last night. Yep. And there's already this narrative that trans men um, are trying to trick women and, and fool women and, and all of that. Why, why are we not talking about that? Why yeah. are we not talking about that? Since everyone was so angry at me and since they were so upset, I said that he I, I didn't know that what he was. And we were in this thing for a couple of months. So come on. Don't try to sit up here and hold me accountable. Hold, hold, all, hold us all accountable, bitch. They can't take you, sis. They can't take you. You you the first. You a ground you you a groundbreaker. You well, the first girl. They, 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 they gonna, not, they're gonna give you the shot. Whether they could take me or not, fairy puss, I only disrespect those that disrespect me. And if if you were the, if if they weren't disrespectful to me, and if you had commentary on it, you weren't disrespectful to me. I I didn't I had no disrespectful intentions about who you are. I still respect all trans men as men, except for that bitch bull dyke bitch that had some of the motherfuckers. A bitch, you a bull dagger. You a dyke bitch that let faggots get on you and fuck you and your motherfucking nappy pussy, bitch. <laughs> and and you thirst trap. And and then he has the nerve to thirst trap to butch queens and want to talk about me and you over sexualized trans men. That's the first story. That's the first romantic story, sexual story I've ever heard you talk tell about a trans man. And you still didn't even talk about a sexual experience. This is a motherfucker who you can't even find fully clothed online. But we over sexualizing trans men. And, and right. that's another thing. That's another thing that I want to say. While you speaking to our trans brothers, to all my trans bros, I love y'all dearly. I genuinely do. Even you, Yale. Even though you said uh, that fucked up shit about me and Maddie, I, I still do have love for you too. To my trans brothers, y'all need to get comfortable checking each other. A lot of y'all, and I love y'all down, and I'm always going to do the work. When y'all request content from me, when y'all request education from me, when y'all request visibility from me, I'm always going to give it to you. But something I want my trans bros to do is I want y'all to start getting comfortable checking each other. And I want y'all to start getting comfortable checking each other publicly to let the world know. Because me and Maddie check each other. We we let the world know that we don't we don't agree on stuff. Me and no. Hope check each other. Me and Laverne check each other. We We let the world know that trans women are not monolithic in our ideals. And I want my trans brothers to, to start being more open to doing the same. Thank you, sister, for coming on. I love you. I love you. I love both of y'all. I love that we can love talk in too. public. I love that we can talk in private. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. Hope, I love you too. But don't get on there another video talking about me before you call me. I love you. You got my phone number. Get on the phone and call me first. Before you start talking about me, to the public, you my son, you my niece that I got real love for. I don't know a lot of these motherfucking people that you may appeal to, but Hope Giselle, when you have something that you feel some type of way about, call me on the phone. Anytime you call me, I will pick the phone up and you can vent to me and tell me how you feel. Don't do that shit in the public where you wear make it seem like we this way. Don't do that. And I love you to the I love you to the floor because I see so much in you. But I'm your aunt. Call me. Before you make any videos about the things, call me. That's all I wanted to say. I got it, I got it all out. Call me. Check me privately. Because then when you start doing stuff like this, I'll be sitting over there like, nah, you got my number. You could have called me. Right. And I didn't like the title of your video. Since, we, since you did that public, I didn't like the title of your video of trans men matter. Like you were saying that as if I didn't say that trans men didn't matter. I didn't like that. I didn't like the way you centered that. I didn't like it. And this is your first time hearing it because I know somebody going to run it to you. I didn't like that. You could have called me and got full detail and full explanation so that you could have been fully aware. I didn't like that. Sorry. All right, let's go on with the show. I love you, Fairy Puss. I'm going to call you for having me. Comments, Mo. 
I'm gonna call you later on tonight. I love you. All my trans men out there, all my real, all my real niggas out there that's trans men. I love you too. I love you too, babe. Thanks Bye. for having me. All right, okay. Bye. Bye-bye.